about what one of those looks like. I have a nice new little, well, as you see, it's not really, here, let me show you. So this is, um, this is Optiplex 350. It's one of those really little computers. So, uh, it comes with Windows 10 Pro. You only get four gigs of memory, which is meh, and a 500 gig drive, i3 processor. This costs $450. Now, I will say for $450, I felt I should have got a little more memory, and honestly, I could have did without the, the 500 gig hard drive and would have been happy with like 120 gig solid state. I think they could have still kept it in the 500 range, but that's just my opinion. All right, so this is it. It has this uh, really thin box. I swear I'm going to get a mount that is, that's higher where I can do these really well, but as you see, it's a really thin box, not too big. I have just too much stuff on this table for it. So, uh, do you have scissors over here? Of course I don't. One second. I don't have scissors anywhere, so that's that's when you resort to a pin. Easy and don't have scissors. And, and then your pin don't work, so then you resort to your keys, which is what you should have thought of the first time. <clears throat> oh. Well, I thought it'd be like a way cooler unboxing than that, because of how they made this thing look. But maybe I was wrong to think that. Okay, Eric uh, Bell keyboard. I think everybody knows about what one of those looks like. There we go. Look at this thing. Regular Dell mouse. Uh, power cable, which looks like, yep, the other half goes to the power brick. Paperwork. Nobody needs that crap. No, nobody needs that either. Now, here we go. Here is the computer. This is why that I wanted to make a video on it because I think that it's quite amazing that they're fitting so much into a little device. I did not realize this device was this little. Before I take this out, let me show you this. Standard uh, DVD rewritable case here. Just barely bigger. I mean, you know, if you put it there, it looks a lot bigger. But it's, it's you know, a little bigger than a CD case, which is... A made screwdriver is the size of a diagonally almost. A black and decker with all kinds of stuff in it. Just the same size as that basically. Not too bad. I think it's quite amazing that it's so little. Let's take it out of here though. Wow. Wow. You have a headphone jack here and uh, your USBs of course. That's your little hard drive light and your power button. Um, there's likely a little fan in this thing. On the back here, we have USB 2 ports, two of them, two more USB 3 ports, like we had on the front, HDMI and a display port, and then of course a great network connector. 7th gen Core i3. This thing is, uh, it's little. Like, I'm, I mean, it is, it is definitely small. I mean, like, if you really look at it, this is the power brick. I mean, the power brick is like almost the same thickness as the whole freaking computer. Now, this is great for uh, if if you have a customer that doesn't have a lot of room and they need a computer, they make these in i5s, they make them in i7s, more memory, they make them with solid states, they make them in every kind of configuration that you can possibly think of. And I mean, as you can see, you'll save a ton of space, like an absolute ton of space. Let's get this thing hooked up. You, you may or may not need a DVI HDMI adapter, just depends.
All right, now, like I was saying, you may or may not, sorry for the sun here, the sun is destroying me. That's why I had it over here in the other corner. You may or may not need this adapter back here. I needed that because I have a KVM switch over here. So yeah, it, it works easier. Let's power this thing on though. Let's see if it's quiet. Can you hear it? I can't even. Is it on? It's on. I saw a flashing light. You can see the hard drive light moving and we have a Dell screen. So it's on. It is ultra quiet. So now I'm going to go through the normal setup, creating my user, yada, 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 getting signed into Windows. And then we'll see how this thing actually, we will see how this thing actually performs. All right. So these are the specs of the little mini small form factor Optiplex 350. As you can see, we ha my bad, I accidentally launched Edge. <laughs> Windows 10 Pro, which is great. Core i3-7100, that's a 7th gen, awesome. 3.4 gigahertz, awesome. 4 gigs of memory, not so awesome. And a 64-bit operating system, which is perfectly fine. And then back here, it has a 500 gig hard drive, not an SSD. Definitely a good computer. Here's how long it takes to like open up Chrome. So it's about 3 seconds there. Two, three seconds, not bad. It's not a workhorse, but it is a it is a good, solid PC. I mean, you can see that I can click around and, uh, you know, pretty much open anything fairly quickly. So, um, I mean, I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. It's not the best computer in the world at all, but... Um, mainly due to the memory. If it, if it had a little more memory, it would be a lot better, I think. That's, uh, that's my take on it. It's a good computer. It's not amazing by any means, but if you're looking for something simple to do simple things, maybe like QuickBooks and stuff like that, this would totally get the job done. And as you see, it, it will not take up a lot of space at all. So, um, and for 430 bucks, you kind of can't beat it. So, small, compact, space saver, good decent speed I would say buy it and spend another hundred bucks and get you a solid state drive then you're hundred percent good to go this thing would be blazing fast with an SSD that's my little unboxing and review of this Optiplex 3050 small micro form factor PC whatever they're calling them nowadays so um, sorry if the audio is kind of bad I'm having to be a little quieter but yeah give this video a like and subscribe if you can and I will see you guys and gals tomorrow or the next day. Have a good one. Deuces. It is definitely not every day you see a car like that. That thing is nice.